like you squirt me out earlier than it is to try to fuck up what you want. Gonna sleep tonight. Oh, baby, no. Welcome everyone to the 2017 Sony CES live event pre-show. I'm Anthony Carboni. I'm joined now by Mike Fasulo, president of Sony Electronics. And I'm so glad that you're here before the live show with us because I heard you're not going up on stage this year. Well, let me start by saying I'm so glad that I'm here as well. <laughs> but no, I did such a bad job the last three years. No. Taz would not have me on stage this year. <laughs> You put a restraining order on you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Well, look where I am. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this is cool because we are behind a real showpiece uh, yes, of technology are. for this year, and you yeah, guys are going to see what more. it is yet. I can't say what it is. In a few you minutes, you'll know. Can you say what it is? No, in a few we minutes. We got like three minutes to fill. Just give look, us some secrets. I'm going to give you some secrets. Here's right. what's going to happen. <laughs> you're going to hear so much information that you're going to want to say, "Wow." How was I like that? It. Was that good? That's good. I and, like in that. all honesty, you're going to hear about. Um, a few key points. One is that we're solving for customer pain points and we're providing customers with great choice. So you'll hear new models that stand on their own category by category, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna have a lot of new models, but then you're also gonna see us working with other platforms, with other applications to bring those standalone devices together to work interoperably, take some of that pain point away, but give the customer choice. If they have a particular platform they love, we want them to continue to love it, just enjoy their Sony devices with it. And then uh, finally, what you'll hear, probably not finally, but also what you hear is some kind of uh, feeling of the depth and breadth of the Sony Corporation. So a lot about electronics, but we have a big gaming business yeah, and a big entertainment business. Of course. Did Would I tell you enough? I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. And, and I don't think I got in trouble either. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Nobody's coming in my ear saying, shut <laughs> Mike down. So I think we're good. So talking about that depth and breadth, it is kind of amazing because there is no company, I think, that has the depth and breadth that you guys do in all different industries. But every year I come here and the booth just seems like cleaner and simpler and more focused. It's really beautiful. And we didn't even pay you to say that. <laughs> That's awesome. This is yeah. a brand new booth. This is the first time we're uh, using this design, and it is everything you just said. It's clean, it's open, it's airy, it's earthy, and we really want to show up the entertainment and the products and the devices. Awesome. Well, Mike, thank you so much. Looking My forward to seeing all these secrets all that right. you wouldn't divulge to me, even after years of working together. You have a great show, okay? You now? too, man. We'll all see right. you soon. Take care now. Live show starts in just a moment, so stay right here.
She's got that look in her eyes. Enrique Iglesias. Like she wants to mess around. Enrique. Talk to him. I heard it from a friend who. Heard it from a friend who. Heard it from another you've been messing around. I'm hoping that your friend too. Told you about me too. Cause I'ma tell you straight up, I've been messing around. I've been messing around I've been, I've been, I've been messing around Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kazuo Hirai. Well, welcome to the Sony press event here at CES 2017. And thank you for being here or watching via live stream. Now, we also invite you to participate in real time in our post-show Q&A at hashtag Sony CES. Now, as is the case every year in early January, as we all gather here in Las Vegas, I take real personal pride for me to be able to show you the newest and most exciting Sony products, many of which, actually, I've had the pleasure of being personally involved in the product development process. And we also get a chance to reveal a few prototypes and emerging technologies that we have also been working on as well. So to start, I'd like to share a great example of one of our new technologies. At the front of our booth here at CES is our new display technology, the Crystal LED Integrated Structure, which incorporates ultra-fine LEDs as its light source. Now, as you move around it, you will notice that it has an extremely wide viewing angle with very little color and brightness shift. And unlike other large format displays, it is virtually impossible, virtually impossible to see the pixels or the seams, even if you're standing right next to it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please don't take my word for it. You need to absolutely experience it to believe it. The crystal LED display here within the Sony booth is 32 feet by 9 feet, featuring an 8K times 2K image. But thanks to the scalable tile, tile structure, the size of the canvas is actually only limited by your imagination. So I hope you will take a look at the crystal LED display later. I can assure you, it will wow all of you. Now, by now, you probably know about a message that I consistently talk about, and that is, whenever you see, touch, or interact with our products, 
we want to stimulate an emotional response. An emotional response, and that is what we call kando. Kando just doesn't happen in some abstract space in the cloud. It happens when we create objects of desire. Now, as you know, some telecommunications companies have described the sweet spot in the customer delivery as happening at the last one mile. Now, my take on that for Sony is a little bit more ambitious because we want to connect with you at the last one inch. This is really up close and very personal. This is where you feel a deep attachment, connection, and of course, pride of ownership. Now, not too long ago, there were some questions about Sony's viability in a rapidly changing marketplace. Could Sony actually remain relevant? Now, however, today we are on a path to sustainable growth. And Sony's innovation has flourished, resulting in positive outcomes in our business and, of course, for you as well. And also, I want to take a moment to acknowledge Mike Fasulo and Sony North America for their incredible efforts in this pursuit. So Mike, please stand up and be recognized. Okay, Mike, you can sit down now. You don't have to join me on stage either because I don't want you to steal the spotlight. It's about me tonight. <laughs> but I have to say I'm really grateful to you, Mike, and for your team for a remarkably well done job here in North America. So let's get started. Now, I'd like to begin today by highlighting an innovation that we are extremely excited about at Sony. It is establishing new trends in both image display and also in content creation, influencing both technology as well as entertainment. So let's talk about high dynamic range, or HDR. Now, HDR is a remarkable advancement in display technology, making possible images that contain up to 100 times, 100 times wider dynamic range compared to the current TV broadcast standards. This means you will experience a greater spectrum of both brightness as well as clarity. And for years, Sony's best production cameras have been able to capture HDR. But now, distribution and display technologies are catching up, bringing you a further improved and exciting viewing experience. Now, as you know, Sony has introduced critically acclaimed 4K HDR Bravia TVs, most notably our flagship model, the Z90 series that was launched last fall. And for the professional field, we have an extensive range of broadcast and cinema cameras that capture a wider range of brightness in studios, on sports fields, and of course on movie sets. And at Sony Pictures, more movies and TV shows are being shot and finished in high dynamic range. And last September, Sony Interactive Entertainment released an updated firmware for all PlayStation 4 consoles back to the very first console that was sold in 2013 that makes them compatible with HDR. So now you can enjoy gaming with exceptionally lifelike HDR picture quality on HDR supported software titles. And I think you'll agree that Sony, Sony is the leader in the advancement of HDR in creation, delivery, and display. And I have to say, this is a truly one Sony initiative. So today, let's take a look at our latest HDR updates and introduce our new Bravia television lineup. Now, Bravia is synonymous with quality. And we offer you superior product design and, of course, state-of-the-art technology. For example, our superb image processing algorithms are condensed into an exquisite processor, the X1 Extreme, to go beyond display device and making Bravia's picture quality the absolute best that it can be. And today, I have two new additions to our Bravia lines that bring the experience of 4K HDR the processor X1 Extreme to a broader audience. This is the first new Bravia that will feature a slim, stylish design with extraordinary brightness. And harnessing our slim backlight drive plus, the display boasts spectacular brightness and contrast using an intelligent 
backlight driving technology. And the result is a stunning and vivid picture satisfying the most discriminating viewers who are seeking optimized picture quality. And we are proud to introduce this series as one of our best LED TVs under our flagship Z9D. But wait, we have more, of course. And this year, the screen actually works. <laughs> we made sure we got that right. Now, this is the Bravia OLED. And this is a unique execution of an OLED display that only Sony, that only Sony can really bring to life. OLED is designed to reproduce deep blacks in dark scenes. And when it's combined with our X1 Extreme processing technology, it renders every detail of an image regardless of any ambient darkness in the scene. You'll see more than you ever thought possible in a display. But what's also unique about our OLED TV is our innovative sound technology we call acoustic surface. This is a world's first sound that comes directly from the screen. This revolutionary acoustic surface technology actually vibrates the display to produce the awe-inspiring sound. It is enabled by the thin, simple structure of the OLED display. This means there are no separate speakers on the side or the bottom of the TV, and the result is an ingenious speakerless and also stainless design. Bravia OLED provides you unparalleled quality while delivering next generation immersive experiences in your home or living space. And we're also excited to announce that both of these new TV series and the current Z90 series will also support Dolby Vision to deliver cinema grade 4K HDR visual experiences. Now, by actively supporting multiple authoring and playback imaging technology, we at Sony were committed to providing you a wide variety of HDR content options that you can all enjoy on your stunning Bravia screen. This, ladies and gentlemen, is really exciting stuff. Now, as part of our wide variety of 4K HDR-capable display products, we offer further flexibility in style and in-home integration with our second generation, second generation ultra short throw 4K HDR home theater projector. The projector is minimally intrusive and now over 40% smaller than the previous version, yet still able to provide stunning cinematic quality images discreetly displayed right into your own living space. The ultra short throw lens lets you place a projector close to your wall for a giant 120-inch image. And since it's near a wall, viewers' shadows won't interfere with the picture, allowing for more open floor space as well. So with the increasing variety of 4K HDR products on the market, you can expect to see an increasing selection of 4K HDR programming and streaming for all audiences, from dramas to documentary to sports. In addition, 4K HDR streaming from Netflix and also from Amazon will provide an enhanced viewer experience. Not to be undone, many of Sony Pictures' upcoming movies and TV series will be released in 4K with HDR, including major film franchises like Spider-Man Homecoming and The Dark Tower, as well as shows like The Last Tycoon and The Tick. And for those of you who desire disc media with the most advanced technology to provide the ultimate in picture and sound quality, our first ultra high definition Blu-ray disc player for home entertainment will be coming out this spring as well. And Sony Pictures Home Entertainment is already releasing 4K Ultra HD discs, including the latest blockbusters, as well as audience favorites from one of the largest libraries of 4K content in Hollywood. Also, what home theater is complete without powerful immersive sound? And here, 
our soundbar delivers a complete 4K HDR home theater experience with three-dimensional immersive sound like Dolby Atmos. And to make this soundbar the very best for home theaters, we collaborated with sound professionals at Sony Pictures who lent their expertise to calibrate the audio quality and optimize it for the playback of movies. Now, speaking of sound, as you all know, Sony's history is distinguished by a deep commitment to providing better and better and even better listening experiences. So if you're an audiophile, you know the power of Sony's sound. And if you're seeking to be transported by your listening experience, you are certain to be inspired by the premium sound delivery from our flagship personal audio products. These products have the power to transport you from your home or office to a completely different place, lost in a symphony, captivated by an artist, or reliving a favorite movie, musical, or a soundtrack production. Our industry-leading noise-canceling headphones, the MDR-1000X, has been gaining, garnering acclaim worldwide. And our success is made possible by our pioneering work in noise-canceling headphone technology for more than 30 years. Many of you may not know this, but we developed the world's first noise-canceling headphone for enjoying music in 1992, which were first used in airline first-class cabins, and Sony also introduced the first digital noise-canceling headphones to the market in 1995. And today, we're showcasing our latest noise-canceling innovations, two prototypes of in-ear wireless noise-canceling headphones. One features a sleek behind-the-neck style, and the other is a wireless pair of earbuds. Free of cables, housing, or headband, we're giving you more choices in how you listen. And Sony's industry-leading noise cancellation is improving your experience regardless, regardless of your preferred listening mode. And of course, you will be the first to see them right here in our booth. Next, I'd like to talk about another area where we are well known for innovation and also expertise, and that is in the field of digital imaging. Sony has introduced world-class cameras for both professionals and, of course, for amateurs. In, and in all of our digital imaging products, we continue to improve and fine-tune our offerings while creating products designed to address a variety of photo opportunities and also video capture needs. So let me talk about a couple of these models. First of all, the Alpha 99 Mark II is a highly advanced DSLR camera with revolutionary features. The Alpha 99 Mark II delivers the next level in high precision autofocus, faster continuous shooting, and stunning resolution, the best performance in A-mount. This camera is particularly powerful when you shoot fast-moving objects such as motorsports with 12 shots per second at a stunning 42 megapixel resolution. The Alpha 99 Mark II will help you capture motion that even your eyes perhaps cannot see. And for those of you who demand portability and performance at the same time, we have our critically acclaimed mirrorless camera lineup as well. And here, our latest offering in this segment, the Alpha 6500, is the true workhorse. In this palm-sized compact body, we packed our latest innovations in digital imaging so that you can enjoy the quality and performance of a DSLR. It outperforms your expectations with our fastest ever autofocus, image stabilization, 4K movie captures, satisfying even professional photographers looking to empower their creativity. Now, it's also important to note that our mirrorless lens series has more lens options, including our latest edition, the G Master Lens series, featuring astonishing new levels of both resolution and brilliant bokeh. And not to be overlooked, be sure to check out our latest offering in the compact camera segment, the RX100 Mark V. And by the way, uh, I think many of you have noticed that Sony has been making premium compact cameras with design consistency from year to year, which has really gotten a lot of support from customers around the world. And why do we do that? We're actually never satisfied with good enough, 
we continue to be devoted to this size and this configuration and this industrial design. It's an elegant form, road tested and ready that you can always carry with you. So with unwavering dedication, Sony has been setting the standards within the one inch sensor compact camera category. Now, as some of you also know, on a personal level, I am an avid photo enthusiast. And you might even say that I'm a camera geek. Um, and, and photography is a real great personal passion of mine. So even from that perspective, I am proud of the giant leaps we have made in digital imaging over the last 40 years, and not just in the sensors and technology, but in the entire range of our digital imaging products. From the lenses to the accessories, even products in the range, every product in the range is imbued with Sony's commitment to quality. Whether you are a professional shooting in critical situations every day, or an enthusiast shooting on the weekend, like myself, or just capturing life memories, I will personally continue to drive our company to make Sony be your first and only camera brand of choice. Now, one of the things I'm also most proud about, Sony's commitment to consumer electronics, is our focus on continual innovation. That's what drives Sony. That's what fuels Sony. And here, Lightspace UX is both a concept and a real platform for innovative new products that transform your living space. Lightspace UX enables unique experiences with powerful sensory impact using light, sound, and vision in perhaps unexpected ways. So earlier today, we shared our second generation ultra short throw 4K projector. And now I'd like to give you a glimpse of a prototype projector showcasing an entirely new experience, one that not only turns your living room wall into a life-size display, but also lets you interact with a projected environment or familiar place like a library. So for example, filled with all sorts of possibilities and unexpected discoveries. Browse virtual bookshelves, leaf through, and even order those books on the spot if you so please. We're also incubating new ideas through our internal incubation program called the Seed Acceleration Program, or SAP. And since the program's launched two years ago, there are now a total of six products already in the market attracting consumers looking for what is new and novel from Sony. Now, while all these products were first introduced in Japan, today we're thrilled to see some of them right here in the United States market as well as other parts of the world. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the continued excitement around PlayStation. PlayStation 4 has now sold through more than 6.2 million units this holiday season, and the cumulative sell-through since launch has reached over 53.4 million units worldwide as of January 1st. Its momentum is very strong even in its fourth year since the launch. And though it's not included in the numbers, PlayStation VR launched last October and gave us a great start also to the holiday season as well. So with PlayStation VR, we are able to provide you dramatic, transformational, new gaming experiences. And our ambitions for VR are not limited just to gaming. Sony is well positioned to take a one Sony approach to set trends in virtual reality across our content divisions enhancing how you experience movies, music, television, and more. Here, for example, Sony Music Entertainment developed a VR music experience with electronic musician Kygo, and you can all experience it at our booth today. And for those in the US who are not here, rest assured, it will be available at our PlayStation Store starting today. Now, many more VR experiences will be coming soon from Sony Pictures Entertainment and also from Sony Music Entertainment. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, I am excited as ever about the ways consumer electronics continues to positively impact your life and our lives at Sony as well. So, at Sony, we are always thinking about not only what we can do or how we will create it, but asking ourselves, why? Why? Emotional involvement, expressed as kando, 
is at the very essence of all of our offerings. And our goal and my personal commitment is to inspire your creativity, delight your senses, challenge your boundaries, and enrich your lives. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of Sony, thank you for being with us today and have a great CES. Thank you very much. I've been messing around. Everybody, we are here for a little post-show q and I'm Anthony Carboni. I am joined now by Phil Jones, who is uh, the master of all things Bravia and TV, and I'm sure there are a lot of questions for you. We've got Amy Kopman from Digital Imaging, so everything camera you've ever wanted to know. And then we've got JP Torres down at the end there for audio. So guys. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Somebody. Oh. How you doing? Then we got I Mike Casillo. <laughs> I'm just going to defer. Did I pay it off? Yeah, did I thought it, it was great. Did Cos pay off everything I said? In the I thought it was wonderful. Absolutely. You did a good job, didn't it? Yeah. Are you going to answer all the questions for these guys now? No, no, that's why. Are they all off the hook? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could, but you'd get better answers out of them. Right on. Enjoy. Thank you, Just sir. Just want to stop back and say hello. Well, good to Bye -bye. see you, man. Hey, Thank you so good much. Luck. Good Thank luck. you. Do well now. He's oh, nice. Yeah. He's nice. It's not that bad. <laughs> they're they're yeah. nice. And now, we, and now they all know that you're watching, so they'll be on their best behavior. No problem. Thanks, man. See you guys. So uh, let's get started. Phil, uh, basically our set, our backdrop right now, 
that everybody is seeing is one device. Yeah, that is, <laughs> yes, that is a 32 foot by nine foot um, screen playing 8K by 4K um, video, and it is the most spectacular picture you've ever seen in your entire life. So this is interesting because a couple years ago, uh, I was here, we were talking, we were talking about the 55-inch uh, crystal display, yes. the, the prototype yes. that you guys had out, yes. and everybody's been like, hey, what's going on with crystal? This is it. This, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. And these things are like infinitely tileable, right? Yes, the fancy term for it is crystal LED on integrated structure, which we affectionately call Cletus. Cletus. And the best way to think of it is, <laughs> think of it as video Legos. Okay. If you decide, you basically stitch them together in the combination you want, 16 by nine, 32 by nine, in the size and the scale that you want. And there's a brain that talks to it that tells the little army ants how to assemble themselves in it with a glorious size picture. That is nuts. Now this is mostly, this is for installation, this is for professional use. It's, it's, it, its intent is for professional. Okay. But if you write a big enough check, <laughs> we are more than happy to put this thing Phil in the house. Phil will come to your house personally. <laughs> Do I get a if I get a commission, I'll be even happier. But he gets to pick the first movie. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the trick. Exactly. Uh, Amy, I wanted to talk a little bit, uh, you know, it seems like it was a quieter year for DI. A little bit. You guys had so here at CES. Yes, yes. We've had big announcements this year. We obviously. have had so many big announcements this year. It's insane. Um, not just in our Alpha line. We introduced a whole new line of lenses for Alpha called G Master, which right. we call tomorrow's lenses today. They're capable of sensors that aren't even made yet. Um, we had cameras added to the line, like the RX100 Mark V here, which does insane. 24 frames per second at 20 megapixel with autofocus and auto exposure for every shot. It's just, it's mind nuts. blowing to think about that. The RX100 series is like one of my favorite series of cameras ever. And, I always have one in my pocket. And not just because it does selfies, really? 90% real? because I can see myself on it at all times. Always yeah. have I'm one like a in pet your bird. Pocket. There you go. Oh, <laughs> very nice. That's awesome. So with all this, uh, with all the new Alpha stuff, with the, with the new RX100, what's kind of your focus over the next couple months? What's your focus over the next year? What are we going to be hearing from you guys? Well, obviously the, the biggest uh, excitement in the digital imaging right now is 4K, which kind of plays into, you know. Yay! You know, <laughs> Phil, Phil needs my product, <laughs> so we can run Cletus behind it. Um, but we have at Sony the widest array of 4K cameras and camcorders of any industry, whether it's something like our brand new uh, action cam, which shoots 4K with balanced optical steady shot, so amazing stabilization in something this tiny all the way up to our professional camcorders that shoot 4K. We really give you the most options for exploring your creative side. That's awesome. And JP, you uh, you are cradling <laughs> some stuff there. <laughs> couple couple you items. Got a couple items. Uh, I want to talk about the speaker you've got with you first. Yes. Uh, so we we've had some amazing success, success over the past couple of years with our extra bass line. We've expanded it to a lot of different products, but the the portable Bluetooth speaker is still our bread and butter. And this is our new flagship, the XB40. Now what we ended up doing, which a lot of people are excited about, and I'm excited about this, especially because I throw a lot of parties. These guys are over, always over my house, and I have nephews. I can give this as a gift to, to annoy my sister. Right. We've taken the LED lighting, strobe lighting, different colored effects from our XB7 and brought it down the line. Nice. So now you can throw a party uh, have each Bluetooth speaker playing a different item, the same item, same music, strobing, partying, and I don't know how we did it, but we managed to be able to link 10 of these together all via Bluetooth playing the same thing at the same time. That's crazy. That's actually really awesome. I love that. It's fun to like go out onto the booth and see an entire wall of those going at once with the LEDs going. It's really amazing. Now, something that a lot of people have been asking, uh, are these speakers Google Home compatible? Is that coming? So we've been doing, we've been partnering with Google for some time now, and that started with the TVs, getting our TVs even smarter than they were originally. And now we're shifting over, we, we did uh, Google Cast, Chromecasting, and now we're integrating with Google Home. So I can have my Google Home device and I can simply speak to it, nice, natural voice, 
play to my living room speaker, play to my kitchen speaker, and any of our devices, our home audio devices that are uh, Google Cast capable, will work flawlessly with it. Nice. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's all about making your life easier, enjoying your music, enjoying the products that we have in your home. Yeah, and that's something uh, Mike was saying before the show, and, and Kaz was definitely saying on stage is, is a big focus has been all of these products, not just talking to each other, but also talking to whatever services you happen to use in your life, which I think is a huge thing for most people because Absolutely. there are so many different options you have for getting your media, streaming your media now. And it's just nice to know that it's all supported. Uh, Amy, people had a lot of questions about A-mount because a -mount, things were a little quiet on the A-mount front for a while. Yep. Uh, now that there have been new lenses, now that there is a new kind of flagship A-mount camera. Yes. What is happening with A-mount in the future? Because with E-mount, with the Alpha series, I mean, it feels like there's, a, there's something new and exciting on the horizon like every six months. Yes, yes, we have, you know, this has been, a, like you said, a huge year of innovation for us. Uh, Normally, we introduce a lot of products at CES. Mm -hmm. This year, we decided to spread the wealth. You know, give you something every few months to get excited about. And the A99 Mark II was one of those pieces. So, you know, the eagerly awaited flagship in the A-mount. Um, we are continuing to develop that. Uh, E-mount, because it is a mirrorless system, does offer us some capabilities that we can't do in the A-mount, mm -hmm. but we're going to continue to develop both of them equally. So. Um, you know, if you're an A-mount lover or, you know, been using cameras since like the A100, like myself, and you have a lot of A-mount glass, we're going to continue on that. But with the adapters, you can also use it on E-mount. So you don't have to be one system or the other. Mm -hmm. You can use both depending on what your specific needs are and, um, you know, share the lenses between them. That's cool. That's great. Uh, Phil, talking about these standards, you know, with HDR content, mm -hmm. you've got HDR10. Yes. Uh, you are now also supporting Dolby Vision on yes. Bravia TV. Yes, and, and also Hybrid Log Gamma. Okay. The goal is um, we want to give the, the owners peace of mind to know that, you know, that, that regardless of where the content comes from, they'll be ready. The majority of content is going to be in HDR10. That is the standard that's on the disc. All the, all the streaming services support it. But just in case, um, you have Dolby Vision as well. Gotcha. And we believe our, our performance is excellent, whether you use HDR10, Dolby Vision, or Hybrid Log Gamma. Uh, and HDR content, of course, probably looks pretty good on that new OLED TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, it is. We are people are people are really asking a lot of questions about this OLED TV. Yes. Well, the 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 the, the thing is, um, this if you're a car person. Some people want a sports car, and no matter how much I tell you about this great luxury car, you just want a sports car. And no matter how much I tell the, sport, the luxury guy about the sports car, they want a luxury car. It is, there's different needs based on the customer. So we said, okay, um, there's benefits to an OLED, there's benefits to an LCD. We're gonna make the best consumer products of both, and now the customer can pick a Sony, and they know they're gonna get Sony's legendary picture quality. Got it. And one of the things that people ha have been asking, uh, Adder Roach 91 is one of them. Thank you for sending this in. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about the audio that is built in to the OLED TV. Yes, it does not have speakers. It does not have speakers. Yes. Um, one of the benefits of using, of going, of having, the Z9D is still our flagship. That is our best picture quality if you want the best TV in the lineup. But having an OLED allows us to do, engineers can come up with new ideas for not only um, design, but also how you generate things like sound. So in the back of the unit, there are acoustic transducers. We call them actuators. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they vibrate the panel, the, the, the screen, the piece of glass in front, and you get your sound. The voice comes from the screen. When the, when the actor is talking, it comes from the actor's mouth on the screen, yeah. it comes from the window. Um, it, the sound is amazing. You can't do it with an LCD TV because an LCD TV has too many layers. It has a backlight, a diffuser, an LCD panel, you can't do it. But since an OLED is one sheet of glass, we can vibrate it and now we can use that as to generate the sound. That's the future. It's the future. I like, that's awesome. Uh, the follow up with this is, if you, if you get this TV in the, and it's built in, it's in mm -hmm. the window here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you still need a sound bar? Do you want a sound bar? Do you want surround sound? It, it, well, well, the thing is, um, this is the best sounding um, television set we've ever made. It mm -hmm. sounds amazing. 
but we all know you can always benefit by enhancing the audio. So there's, there's basically multiple options. If you're wall mounting it, you may use a sound bar or a traditional multi-channel sound system. But, but say you want the, the, to see no speakers and you want to just be without any distractions, mm -hmm. you can even you can buy a wireless subwoofer or a subwoofer and use it to enhance a little bit of the bottom end. And many people, that is enough. So you know, with this, this beautiful sounding system with no visible speakers anywhere in the room except for maybe a subwoofer over in the corner. And I may be, I may be a simple man for asking this question, Phil, but when it's, when it's vibrating the glass, mm -hmm. I don't get any sort of reflective distortion or visual distortion or anything like that. That is a great question. Normally when you have a speaker, it's a, the cone is about you know, a couple inches wide. So you have to move it great distances to generate enough pressure to excite the air. If the panel is 75 inches, if the screen is 75 inches, you have to move it very, very sl small uh, amounts to generate okay. a large amount of sound to the point where it cannot be see pre perceived visually as vibration. If you touch it, you'll, you'll feel it, but you won't see it. It's like an electrostatic speaker. They play really loud, yeah, okay. but you don't see them vibrating as they do it. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Uh, JP, people want to know about this, uh, the Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Cool. So we introduced a CI piece uh, back in Cydia, and uh, while we often visit the forums, we don't participate because you know we are internal Sony, but we are listening all the time. Mm -hmm. And people were asking for uh, a consumer piece, and now while we're at the Consumer Electronics Show, we're here showing a uh, X800 uh, baby brother to the X1000 ES piece. Now, while it um, has a lot of benefits in terms of audio or, or supporting um, all audio formats, even legacy formats like DVD audio, which I myself still have some. I still have some legacy SACDs I still collect, uh, but you can get high res audio through it, uh, either through hard media or through USB. Uh, it's providing a lot of audio benefits, but in terms of video, it's really superb in, in terms of matching up with our new TVs. And I'll defer to Phil on that a little bit because he handles more of the video side, but it's offering you the best of both worlds, 4K Blu-ray, HDR, and the best audio performance you're gonna get because all our divisions are able to talk to one another. We have a huge and amazing history of audio. We make some of the best speakers in the world. We make some of the best receivers and audio products in the world and it's reflected down to even the chassis, down to the feet, down to each single component, and that holds true even for the new uh, 4K Blu-ray player. That's cool. Yeah, it's great. So I imagine this stuff interconnecting yes, yes. probably is a pretty mind-blowing experience. Yes. <laughs> when you, um, the, the Blu-ray player has actually a lot, of, um, we, a lot of feedback from not only the sound team, but also our professional side and the studios about what they were looking for when it comes to picture quality, sound quality, and a Blu-ray player. One thing that's really nice about it too is a lot of people that have 4K TVs may have purchased that 4K TV before HDR became an option. Sure. So those, many of those 4K TVs will support a 4K Blu-ray, you just can't get HDR out of it. So this player has an SDR, um, like, an, like an, uh, a super SDR mode. So what it does is if, it's, if you connect it to an SDR, Mm -hmm. um, 4K TV, it looks at the HDR content and the SDR content and makes an enhanced a, uh, wow. SDR version to utilize the full um, capabilities of the, of the TV because many of these TVs can support XV Color, which is why I didn't rec 709. Mm -hmm. So by combining the two, I can make an XV Color version so for you're, that you're, TV. You're pushing out, you're eking out a little bit more, more of that dynamic range Yeah, so people. it's the best 4K Blu-ray player to get the most color and contrast out of an SDR TV, gotcha. and of course you'll get the most out of an HDR TV. That's great. And th for for these things, for the for the new Blu-ray player, for this new OLED TV, mm -hmm. do we have any release dates or, or hard specs or prices? Um, of or course, anything? we always say prices to um, will be announced later, as well as ship dates and things like that. There you go. You know when Amy's product shipping, when is your shipping? <laughs> <laughs> Everything we have here is shipping Go now. get it now. Yeah, now. Oh, by the way, if you want to buy, if you want to buy Cletus, you can buy that today. <laughs> Yet. I want to buy Cletus. <laughs> I want to buy Cletus. I want, Cletus. I want one this size <laughs> is what I want. Uh, Amy, speaking of this, I mean, everything is shipping right now, like you were saying, all the things you came out. The action cam, yes. uh, 
Tell us a bit more about the updated action cam because people are asking what the differences are in this. Okay, well, the biggest difference is something you can't really see. Um, I mean, we've been promoting action cam as having image stabilization since mm -hmm. the very first model, and that was one of the things that set us apart. But what we've done in this one is without making it any bigger than previous action cams, we've actually managed to fit balanced optical steady shot in here. And if you're not familiar with this from our camcorders, it's a method of image stabilization that uses not moving lenses, but it moves the lenses and the image sensor as one complete unit. So it provides an incredible amount of stabilization um, to your images, and it's available in all modes, including 4K, which is something that you can't necessarily do with electronic stabilization. Um, just like previous models, you know, Phil was talking about how we're an audio company. Um, we offer stereo audio on all of our action cams as well. So you get the most realistic audio, you get wind buffer on the mic, you get um, a brand new Bluetooth remote. Uh, it's actually a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi remote that not only lets you start and stop recording, but lets you see exactly what you're recording. So we have uh, currently three models in the lineup. Two models have the balanced optical steady shot, one in 4K and one in high definition. And one of my favorite things is, um, not so much here in Vegas, but where I live, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. We like to go outside. Uh, these are splash proof as they are. So I don't need to put them in a housing. They're super small and sleek. Um, and you can take them pretty much anywhere and not have to worry about moisture or dust or anything. But you guys do still make the, the waterproof housing yes, for it. Yes, yes. And they do come with that waterproof housing. Uh, we've improved the depth rating on it for this year to just under 200 feet of depth, which wow. scares me a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going that deep. Um, I'm, I'm more of a, you know, surfing, top of the water kind of person, sure. but it I does like come boats. with that housing. But if yeah. you're a shark <laughs> yes, and you exactly. need an action cam. Exactly. And, and this is the perfect one for you. And you need stabilization you. because as a shark, you need to move constantly to breathe. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is the perfect action cam for sharks and for humans alike. <laughs> but what I do love is the, the optical stabilization, uh, if people are using action cams out there, they know what a huge deal that is because these things are hooked to bikes. They're, like you said, they're hooked to surfboards, they're hooked to helmets, they're hooked to vehicles. Yep. And it's like, it can get real wobbly. It can get real wobbly with some other action cams. Well, so it's really I'm, nice to have it. I'm impressed. I'm, the running club I'm part of, we do a, a Christmas Eve run and a New Year's Day run. Mm -hmm. And I decided this year to, to tape it. And as much as I hate to, to say the word, I put this on a selfie stick mm -hmm. with, you know, a hundred of my friends and we ran. And we'll when I got slide. home and, <laughs> and I watched the video, I was, I was seriously blown away yeah. at how good this was while I'm running with it attached to a three foot stick above my head. I was just, you know, I'm like, it looks like it was edited. It looks like it was shot with a drone. It was absolutely amazing. That's great. Yeah. I love that. I love that. JP, people are asking, there is a, uh, there is a Walkman that is in a locked case that I could, nobody would let me touch this Walkman. No, I, uh, uh, you know what? I don't even have clearance. So they allowed me the baby brother, but we have, we have two new models that were, um, that we've showcased and we're showing here as well. It's part of our new signature series of products. We basically went to our engineers and said, make the best of the best for us in terms of personal audio, portable audio. And this is a series of products that came out with, with, with our signature series. We make two brand new Walkmans. This is the second highest to the flagship, which is the 1Z. Mm -hmm. Basically, as I said in the past, no one does audio like we do. Uh, we've been doing it since our inception as a company. And the Walkmans, these Walkmans, either this one, solid piece of aluminum, machined from a solid piece of aluminum, the 1Z machined from a solid piece of copper, which someone might say, well, that seems a little bit odd in general. You don't see that that often. But in general, we, we went and looked at every single part of it and said, what sounds the best? Mm -hmm. And copper gave us a more natural sounding, non-resonant housing than even uh, the aluminum and, uh, that we've used in the past. So everything, every single detail is taken care of on these Amazing. pieces. That is serious business. It is. I love that. Uh, we are getting a lot of questions as well about um, wireless earbuds and what's new with wireless earbuds, especially now that, you know, Apple has their, uh, their AirPods and how your earbuds will work with iPhones or other phones that they're using and just general comparisons go. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
All I can say is at least you won't need, in my personal opinion, you won't need to buy uh, a uh, accessory to make it appear or hang them when you're done using them with ours. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of connectivity as a whole, uh, we support Bluetooth. We've been doing it for a while. We support NMC. We're one of the few manufacturers that have been doing it for as long as we have been. Uh, we have a prototype of uh, some completely wireless in earbuds on the show floor, and we're also showing our uh, personal communicator device that you would stick in one ear and you talk to it and it takes care of, of items for you. What? Yes. So that's, <laughs> that unit's actually already been reviewed. You talk to it, it, it will answer phone calls for you, send text, read text for you. Uh, it's like a personal Walkman in-ear personal assistant. Uh, and you know, it's, it's crazy because <laughs> we're, a, we're able to do these things because we're Sony. <laughs> it's really, really amazing. Uh, one of my favorite products that we also have here, um, in addition to just the, the carry Walkmans, we have the sport Walkmans. So those are also designed to pair with your phone, answer phone calls, and are 100% waterproof. So whether you're going swimming or, or I like to go running a lot, sometimes it rains in San Diego, you're, you're still off to the races. And you just answer. You can answer the call when you take laps. People exactly. won't be able to understand you if exactly. you're swimming, but you can answer it. You can answer it. <laughs> but if it's me, it's probably my mother anyway, so I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> uh, just to wrap this up, guys, there was a lot of amazing stuff that was announced. There's a lot of crazy stuff on the floor that we haven't even touched on. I just want to go down the line and get everybody's favorite product. Everybody's favorite product that they saw this. My favorite product is actually we have a, a short, ultra short throw projector called yes. a a VZ1000ES, um, and it's designed to basically um, be built into a cabinet. So you can have a 100-inch laser projector, use it as your daytime TV, and when you turn it off, it completely disappears. So to me, you want the largest screen, but then when it's off, you want literally no screen. To me, I love that. That's awesome. Amy, how about you? I think the most fun product name is Cletus. By far. Sure. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, hands down. <laughs> but uh, obviously, I, I love cameras. I love DI. Um, by far, still our flagship piece in the line, the A7R Mark II, our top Great of the line, 42.4 megapixel, insane autofocus speed. Uh, I mean, you want the ultimate in resolution, this is the camera, and it's the one I use all the time. Yeah, it's a beautiful camera. How about you, JP? You know, while it'd be easy to say our new Atmos soundbar, mm -hmm. um, I'd probably actually have to defer back to personal audio, portable audio, our signature series, and our Z1R headphones. These are brand new headphones. They're handmade in Japan, uh, which hasn't been able to be said by any manufacturer in a long time. Uh, it uses a variety of new techniques to get the best audio performance. We partnered with our New York remastering studio, Battery Studios. It literally sounds like you are listening to a pair of speakers. It does not sound like you're listening to headphones. It's absolutely surreal. Oh, that's great, man. I got to try those. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much, Phil, Amy, JP. Wonderful as always. And remember, if you've been watching, you can still tweet at Sony Electronics with the product that you want in your life for a chance to win prizes. You can still send comments and questions. Thank you all for joining us. CES 2017, man. Yeah. Very exciting. Let's do this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>